617 now. Cloudy skies, rain. We've got it this morning. Over the 50s today for Everett to Seattle. Word of a crash now, I-5 at South. Attorney General, who's aggressively gone after uh, all these flowers. It's been over three years since Baronelle found herself subject to a lawsuit, and during that time there have been a number of court appearances, a number of motions filed, thousands of pages have been filed with the court of briefing and exhibits, and we've had a number of hearings, but now we're before the Washington Supreme Court, and we're optimistic, and if we don't win at the Washington Supreme Court, it won't be the end of the matter either, because Baronelle will not compromise on her religious convictions. This is Jeff Halston, he's local counsel for Cato. May it please the court. Your honors, my name is Kristen Wagner. George Aaron and myself represent Arlene's Flowers and Baronel Stutzman. Well, this morning, Kristen will be preparing uh, through a moot court, which is an opportunity for attorneys to ask Kristen questions that we expect the Supreme Court to ask tomorrow to find out if there are any holes in our arguments, areas that were particularly strong, uh, and really give Kristen a final chance to give her open and then have it critiqued and reviewed by other professionals. So, counsel, uh, what I uh, seem to gather from your argument is... The day before, we're putting together final thoughts. We're working on practicing arguments and answering questions and just getting prepared for the big day. We need to look at whether there's a substantial burden, well, and there if, is. If, uh, in the record here, she's willing to, to sell flowers off the shelf to anybody that comes in the door. I'm a little nervous, but you know, it's okay. Well, why would it be? Why would it be different if it, if the expression is based on religious belief? Um, moot courts are extremely helpful in preparing us and thinking through issues in new ways. You can use that phrase. What's been sad for me? What's been hard for me? We're doing media training, so that I'm confident in what I say. Paul, kind of tell us what's going on tomorrow and how life's important, and then tell us kind of history of how this all started. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to be at the Washington State Supreme Court and they're going to hear our case. And it all started when one of my favorite customers, Rob Ingersoll, came into the store. Well, it's important to hear from Baronelle uh, her story. We know that people get their media, their news from all over the place, from many different sources. And so we try to engage in all of them uh, in order to make sure that people hear that same message over and over and over again. This isn't just about flowers. This is about people's right to live consistent with their faith, no matter where they are, no matter who they are, no matter what they believe. How do you feel about tomorrow? Well, it depends on what the decision is, but we hope that the court will uphold our Constitution and my right to create and design and live consistent with my beliefs. Thank you. <laughs> All in a long day's work, yes.